Hi, and welcome to the .com Monitor Video Guide. In this video, I will walk you through the setup process of network latency monitoring to track the performance of your broadband connection from around the world. To monitor internet latency, I'm going to set up the ping task. The ping command sends an ICMP echo request to a target name or IP address, helping you to verify IP level connectivity. To configure the monitoring task, I need to specify a URL or IP address I want to ping here. Also, you can select a preferable frequency of monitoring. In addition, if you have your service geared towards a particular geographical region, you can select the locations to monitor your internet line from. Next, I'll go to the Alert tab to configure alerting on any monitoring issues. Here I select the pre-configured notification group to send alert notifications to. In the cases of, for example, connectivity problems with the server or network, the alerts will be sent to the addresses specified in the group. So I can react immediately to a sudden slowdown of the network. Okay, now I'm ready to save the device. On the Device Manager page, we can see the newly added monitoring device and check its state. I'm going to show you how to retrieve the monitoring data in .com Monitor. There are plenty of report types available. We can pull the online report to view monitoring session details, other statistic data, and interactive charts. Or we can configure different shareable dashboards to monitor the latency and other parameters in real time. To access the dashboards, I go to Reports in the top menu. In particular, I need to configure shareable report cards, such as Status Report Card. A status report card displays response time per device from each monitoring location. If necessary, you can select particular locations and more than one device to be presented on the card. The report card is really handy when you need to share the monitoring results with a third party. The dashboard can be shared with others by copying and pasting the unique URL into an email or other document. So the report will be visible to anyone who has access to the URL. To view our dashboard with current latency statistics, I select Preview. As you can see, the responses are color-coded and it is easy to identify the status of the responses on the dashboard. If you have any questions, please contact your sales representative or our technical support team, or check our knowledge base for in-depth information. Thank you for watching.